other days when I've come up here, there's, there's just fog and clouds filling the valley. And then as the sun comes up, there's a little bit of a breeze and the fog goes flowing out over the ridges. You can kind of see it pooling into the valley behind me over here. There's not a ton down low yet. So we'll hang out for a few minutes and see if we don't get some more clouds down low. But in the meantime, I also really like the graphic vertical pattern-like texture of the trees behind me. Just this line of, of trees going perfectly straight up and tall, varying only in their, their, the separation between them and the thickness of the trunks. So I think I'm gonna start making a picture of that as well as kind of the, the layered look of the of the ridges right now i've got trees farther trees and really far trees and they're also brushed by the sun coming up from the side so it goes like light dark light dark light dark and i like that repetitive pattern in it i'm going to use the 85 because it's a longer lens and it's going to help me to isolate some of the small areas of that if i use a wide lens we don't get to emphasize that light, dark, light, dark pattern that we'll see when we use the 85. Um, and then it's also got that, that creamy, velvety look. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that out and see if it doesn't give me just that kind of dreamy, early morning, ethereal forest feel that I personally feel when I'm usually up here in the mornings. So, I'm gonna use a tripod. The Velvet 85 is an f1.8 lens. It's very bright, so I could potentially hand hold the camera and still get a sharp photograph, but using the tripod helps me to be a little bit more um, contemplative about my photograph so that I, I frame things up just a little more um, intentionally. And so that's one reason I'm using the tripod. It also gives me more options. I can stop down and get more clarity, more depth in a photograph. Um, it's not too heavy. I've got one with carbon fiber legs and a ball head. The ball head is, is pretty essential here because it allows me to frame up the picture in just about any orientation. And especially when I'm working on a hillside, the ball head allows me to level the camera without worrying too much about whether or not the legs are level. And that's really important. If you get one that's got wands or, or if it came with your camera, sometimes the included tripods are more of a pan head and they don't have the ability to level the camera at any angle, and that's so frustrating. So a ball head is really a great way to go so that you actually use your tripod. One more tip for you with the tripod, when you're working on a slope, you wanna put one leg down the hill. When a leg is down the hill, this thing is a lot harder to tip over. If instead I put two legs downhill, I'll just flip it around like that, with two legs down the hill, it goes really easily tipping downward and you don't wanna do that. So put one leg facing down the slope and you'll have a much more stable platform to work from. Whenever you change lenses and especially outdoors, you wanna make sure that you keep your camera kinda of angled downward so that you don't get dust inside the camera. That stuff shows up in your photographs. So it's always worth keeping it pointed downward and keeping your lens caps in place. 